Let's get into it. So why did I decide to try Google's version of a smartwatch? There's the Pebble smartwatch out, there's uh, the Galaxy Gear, uh, but I honestly love the way stock Android is. I love the simplicity of it, I love the reliability of it. Um, I notice it every day on my Nexus 5, how easily and simplistic yet effective it runs. And the way Android Wear was showcased in Google I.O., it just got me hooked immediately. So let's get into the design, starting with the screen here. As of right now, this is probably as good as it's going to be for a smartwatch screen. Yes, I'm pretty sure there'll probably be insanely higher PPIs on smartwatches in the future, and different form factors. We've already seen the Moto 360 taking upon that circular display. But guys, we're not buying this to watch movies on, and we're not primarily buying it to play the games on. It's first and foremost a device that shows the time and other useful information. I have no solid complaints about the screen. Yeah, outside, it might not be the easiest to display, but then again, uh, what display is perfect in direct sunlight? Inside, I have no complaints. My screen is never on maximum brightness indoors, and it's plenty bright. The hideous watch band. First thing I did to my G-Watch, it just changed the watch band. The rubberized material, the one it comes with, it just makes the device look and feel cheap. For $229, I don't want a device feeling like I bought it at the flea market. People wear watches as jewelry every day, so if I'm going to put something on my wrist, it needs to look nice. The solution, I went on Amazon.com, I searched for 22mm uh, watch bands, and I got myself a nice stainless steel band. Makes the watch feel a bit more premium and weighted, which is something I actually like. Battery life. I take my watch off my charger around 5.30 a.m. I go through my entire day, put it back on the charger around 11 p.m. Now, do I get notifications at 5.30 in the morning? Not really. I'd say emails, messages, social media notifications, they start coming in around 9 to 10 a.m. So I'd say I get about 12 hours of constant swiping replying out of this watch. And that's good enough for me. Let's get into the software. You guys have probably already seen a bunch of other videos by now, but I'll just say that Google designed a well-balanced software for the Wear devices. The fact that it literally took me less than 5 minutes to set up, and I had notifications come into my watch, won me over instantly. I've experienced no lag or hiccups so far in the week that I've had the G-Watch. It hasn't froze on me yet, my cards come in throughout the day, and even the voice replies works very well thanks to Google Now. Uh, let's give you a quick demonstration. Okay Google. Show me the weather. And it'll show me the weather where I am. Let's try something else. Okay, Google, show me my appointments. And it'll show you my flight information. I should have a dentist appointment here also. So, the Google uh, voice searching works very well on this device. So let me show you what your notifications will look like. So let's say you get a text message. So I'll text from my other phone, hey, what's up, G Watch? Sending the text message now. There you go, that's what it'll look like on your phone. What you could do from here, you could slide over, reply via SMS, or you could open it on your phone. What I'll do, I'll just hit a quick reply. Hey, thanks for the text. And just like that, straight from your device, the text message is gone. Perfect for when you're in the car or you're at work, you just want to send a quick message, you don't want to pull out your phone because it's unprofessional. It's beautiful. One cool app I found that's pretty useful when I'm driving and I have my Bluetooth headset in is actually called Trigger. What Trigger does, it'll execute certain tasks at the push of a button. So let's say I want to call my house. I'll go, click on Trigger, scroll down, find where it says call home, push the button, and you'll see it activates it right away on my Nexus 5. Another pretty cool app I found that works well is an app called Bunting. What Bunting does, it lets you send a tweet right from your LG G Watch. Hey guys, you're all in my YouTube video. And just like that, I'm sending a tweet right from my Android Wear device. And it's gone. This is just the beginning of Android Wear. We all know how powerful Android is, and it being open source, 
you know that developers are always coming up with new ideas for our cell phones and I'm really curious to see where Android Wear goes. If you're interested in getting into the smartwatch world, go out and pick one of these up from the Google Play Store. It's $229. Guys, $229 is a steal. For what it does now and what developers can do with it in the future, it's like Google's giving this away, you know, for you to try a smartwatch. Even if you're not a gadget head like myself, for $229, you're not going to regret it. Guys, thanks for watching. Feel free to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'll leave the links down in the description below, as well as the watch band um, that I found on Amazon. It's my first tech review, so there'll be more to come. If anyone has any cool apps for Android Wear that they've come across, leave a comment below. Till next time, guys. Peace.